to a brief overview of the new YouTube in December 2011. Here you see the home page with on the left your subscriptions and a Facebook feed and a Google Plus feed if you use them. Now let's look at the new channel layout. As you can see they've slicked it up a lot, looks a lot different. Now to actually change to the new channel you go to your current channel and sign in and up the top it will say click here to try the new channel design. Now you can change back at any time by simply going into edit channel and in appearance and then switch back to the old channel design. According to the help center you can do this multiple times. Also in the appearance section you can change your avatar which is your profile picture and such or your background and your color. In the info and settings area you can choose the default landing tab there's featured feed and videos now the featured tab is where your main video for your channel will play and where the main content is usually placed there are four templates for how you're going to set up your channel there's creator blogger network and everything when you select creator below the YouTube player it has your playlists for blogger it sets your uploaded videos in the, with the most recent being up the highest. Network places below the player featured channels which was often called the box and everything sort of combines them together with the playlist and the featured channels. For all the other templates other than everything on the right hand side below the, your information it will have your featured channels and playlists. The feed tab up the top is pretty much your most recent except if you click view you can change it to your channel comments and videos is an upload videos section where you, where it has all your videos and your playlists. Now instead of being below the player you now have all your basic information about your channel on the right hand side. One major change that I noticed was that in the about this user area you can only have a maximum of 200 characters. Also to get the about this user you have to click the more button. Another feature that I like is on the right hand side below your description of your channel you can have links to other websites but you don't actually have to have the URL to the website you can have a description with the website's logo which you just click on and will go to the URL. If you've linked your Twitter or Facebook or other account you can also have it displayed for the public to see. Another change that some of you might not have noticed is the insights area which is now called analytics. Now you can click on any one of these grayer areas and it will open up a more descriptive area of what it's describing. And the basic layout of your uploading area has changed as well. Thank you for watching this overview.